This is plain table survey, a conventional technique used by the British to map out the Indian subcontinent from the 16th to 18th centuries. Surveying is the measurement of the shape and the size of the earth and the features which exist upon its surface. The features can be both man-made and natural. The end product of surveying is usually a map. The features on a map are not limited to just 2D plane, rather a third projection or height can be taken into account. This is where an engineering level comes into use. You must have seen this equipment near a road construction or a building construction project. This is called a total station. It is definitely not a camera and it, it cannot record pictures or take videos. A total station is a surveyor's best friend as it can perform a number of functions with just a click of a button. Right now we are going to determine the length of the pitch behind us. The length of the pitch comes out to be 75 feet. All positioning systems or GPS are one of the most modern surveying equipments. With the help of a couple of satellites, you can determine your position anywhere on Earth. These can acquire data as fast as a person can walk. Here inside the lab, we can process the raw data collected from the field. With the help of one of our softwares, we can convert that data into a map. Fun fact, the students and survey lab staff here at NEST have mapped out the entire Asheville campus here at Islamabad. The maps include each building and every tree. With the help of these modern tools, you can map out any area or environment. The undergraduate students of Civil, Environmental and Geoinformatics Engineering here at NEST are trained vigorously by our highly skilled staff at Survey Lab. The training conforms with 3 out of 12 program learning outcomes here at NEST, which are knowledge building, modern tool usage and individual and teamwork. A surveyor can help with mapping out of any area which is ultimately important for planning and development. And that is one way how you can define futures.